Good. All right. We are now going to transition. Now we're going to go into Romans chapter three. All right, Jack. A title has probably rose up for you and then maybe a two or three verses. This is uh, God's righteousness through faith. Okay. And I chose Romans 3, 23 through 25, Amplified. Great. Since all have sinned and continually fall short of the glory of God and are being justified, declared free of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God and granted eternal life as a gift by his precious undeserved grace mm -hmm. through the redemption, the payment for our sin, which is provided in Jesus Christ whom God displayed publicly before the eyes of the world as a life-giving sacrifice of atonement and reconciliation propitiation by his blood to be received through faith. This was to demonstrate his righteousness, which demands punishment for sin, because in his forbearance, his deliberate restraint, he passed over the sins previously committed before Jesus' crucifixion. Whew, is there some good meat in these three verses? Oh, absolutely. Wow. All right, great G. Now let's slide down to the R. What's the reveal in this for you, Jack? Well, I never thought much about whether God liked me or approved of me when I was a young man. Only after I truly experienced God's love his total unconditional overwhelming love, could I say with all honesty, yes, God likes me. Mm. He approves of me. He likes spending time with me. He likes hearing me when I talk to him. And he likes talking back to me through his word. God loves me and accepts me. Isn't that a deep desire? of all of us i would i would pray so yeah i would pray that the men wanted more than anything to have the love of jesus christ in their lives mm. and to have a personal heartfelt relationship with him mm -hmm. i think that is so desperately important mm -hmm. if you want to have the peace that passes all understanding run to the lord mm. What a great, great reveal. Guys, I, I pray that resonates with this resonating with me. And Jack, now slide us to the eye for the implementation. Uh, Jesus has done for you what you cannot do on your own. He won for you God's full approval. You cannot give grace without the cross. Because of the cross, you have full access to God's grace. Mm. I mean, wow. the Lord, the Lord went to the cross. Yes, gave His life, shed His blood for you and I, so He can stand in the gap and cover you for your sins. Mm. Mm. And when God looks down on us, He looks down on us through His Son Jesus Christ, and sees us perfect. Oof. Can you imagine that, guys? Our Father is looking at you and sees you perfect with all your faults, with all your shortcomings, with all your sins. He still sees you perfect. Now, that isn't someone you ought to run to. I don't know what is. Because mm, he sees you through the lens of Jesus. Yes. Jack, don't you think a lot of guys, and I'm going to kind of relate back a few years, many years ago when I, before I came to Christ, I thought I had to have all my ducks in a row. I thought I had to have the perfect life before I could even consider going to God. God accepts you just the way you are with all of your faults, with all of your shortcomings, yeah. with all of your, your uh, blemishes. He <laughs> still loves you. Yeah. He still wants to have a relationship with you. It's just that simple. Mm. 
Mm. So powerful. All right, Jack, pray us out in Romans 3, 23 through 25. Father, I thank you for giving us your son, Jesus, who stands in the gap as my intercessor with you and your intercessor, intercessor with the guys. Praise God. Amen.